welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Gary and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So first off, we're going to go ahead and put those paints in there that we want. And I went ahead and went with this pretty yellow color. If you guys do want to see what paints I do use, I will definitely link them down below. I am going to keep on spraying until it runs to the color that I need it to. Just because I did plan on doing the red first, but honestly, I do recommend working with the lighter color first and then moving on to your darker color I feel like it allows it to come out a lot nicer and right now I'm just trying to make sure that there is no clogging in there if I do feel like there is any splattering I like to make sure to resolve it before it start working instead of just waiting to see if it ends up sputtering again we don't want that we want it to be nice and seamless and beautiful so of course I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go ahead and keep on blending that in. I like to work in circular motions when I am doing my airbrushing. Just because even if I do have to work on one section at a time, I feel like it allows one section to dry and then be able to move on to the next one. So you might see me going a little bit back and forth. And that is totally fine. I know when I was a beginner nail tech, I felt like I couldn't go back to a nail that I previously worked on because I felt like they thought... I wasn't going to know what I was doing and stuff like that, but honestly, you guys, if you want your stuff perfect, I definitely recommend going back and touching up things if you feel like they need to be touched up. So, and you guys could see, even if it starts to sputter or something, I will spray it on the gloves, spray it on the napkin to make sure that flow is going good and making sure that none of that is going on. If you feel like it's doing it from the start, I definitely recommend taking it apart and kind of just going in and removing anything that might be in the way and making it sputter. But now that they are looking more of the way that I like, I after this I am going to be moving on to a red color. But definitely I want to make sure that everything is nice and pigmented by going over and kind of doing a little bit more layers on it so everything is nice and even because I don't want one nail to end up looking lighter than the other. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and wipe that out and I'm going to go ahead and go move on to my next color which is this really pretty orangey red and I feel like this would be great especially for the summertime months because I feel like it is just going to pop so if there's anybody going on vacation and things like that I feel like this design would actually look super super cute. So I'm going to spray it on my glove making sure that the paints are flowing in and making sure that everything is nice and mixed. And so now I'm going to go ahead and start spraying it on and look how pretty that looks. I'm loving the way these are coming out. Something that I do want to mention is that I do wish um, I would have actually done a little bit lower than what I did with the blend just because I do feel like it would have came out, I don't know, just more seamless, more look like an acrylic ombre. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did I go too high or should I? Should I have went lower? Should I have went higher? Should I did the whole nail? Um, I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So I do really want this red to pop. So I am going to layer it on pretty heavy just because I want it to be very, very bright. You guys could see that if I were to have stopped here, it looks kind of more of an orangey color. And I feel like even that one needs more done to it. But I felt like my my thing wanted to sputter so I did end up having to actually go back in and clean out that nozzle area. If you guys do want a more in-depth video please let me know. Make sure to comment down below and I will try to do that for you. Right now I'm going to go ahead and work on this one and you guys could see that sometimes on the sides it doesn't look like it is getting any paint so what you're going to want to do is kind of just tilt it a little bit more so you're able to get those little nooks and crannies just because you, you really don't want to end up missing anything. In anything that needs to be touched up, I'm going to go ahead and back, go back in and making sure that everything blends really, really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the yellow. I did feel like the, the red and the yellow, I feel like it was just too much of, like, almost it being solid. So I wanted to kind of add some more yellow in there and basically transition it with 
making it look like an orange color. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I hope I'm making sense. But now I went ahead and let those dry a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get Nail Central Matte Top Coat. I have been loving this. If you guys haven't tried out this nail top coat, this is not sponsored by any means. But if you do want to see an unboxing of this, I do have an unboxing. And kind of just a little bit I think I talked about a little bit of what I thought about it but there's definitely an unboxing I definitely recommend going to check it out especially because it was super cute I love the way they styled it and everything but I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of the light and see if matte is the way I want to go with these and so far I'm thinking yes I think they look super cute you guys will be able to see an up close and personal video and kind of how I ended up putting these together in the pictures so to give you guys inspo when you guys are taking your pictures from your nail clients and all that jazz. And you guys could see what it would look like almost if I did the gloss top coat, but I do feel like it stands out more with the matte, so that's why I did end up deciding to go with that instead. I've been loving my airbrush because I feel like I am able to do my ombres a lot faster than what I was when I was doing them with acrylic. And I do feel like I have more control of how the blend looks, because sometimes I feel like, especially this was more so when I was a beginner, but now doing nails for like seven plus years, um, I have been able to do it where I feel like I always love the way it comes out. But when I was first starting with nails, I did feel like a lot of times my ombres would end up coming out uneven, or sometimes like it would come out looking really, really nice. And other times it looked almost like it was like splotchy or something. So honestly, I do feel like if I were to have had an airbrush at the beginning, it would have saved me so much trial and error. So honestly, I do love this, especially because I do do fills on my clients. And a lot of times with doing fills, if it does have an ombre underneath, chances are next time they want, depending on how high the ombre is, but if they want to do a French tip and stuff, I don't do the back fills where you file down the acrylic all the way down and then do another color over. Um, honestly, my hands, I do get a lot of pain in them when I am filing way too much. So honestly, I feel like definitely with me, I have to have, I, I have to be able to do fills just because. I don't know and I completely understand I know a lot of people will ask why do some nail techs they don't do fills and why do they don't I mean just from the way I think not as any other nail tech have said this but I do feel like it's a lot on your hands and having to file them all the way down if you do do acrylic fills and things like that and if they wanted to change the color it would almost be better just for them to come in and get a whole brand new set so honestly you guys every nail tech works different so I do feel like before even going to a nail tech, maybe ask them, do you do fills and things like that. So if you did want to be able to do that, you're able to do so. But me personally, I always work doing fills um, ever since I was first starting in the nail salon and I just continue to do so even now. The only thing that I don't really do fills on, just because I don't really like the look of it even after, is I don't do it on gel X. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I, it's just not my favorite. So. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down, take some pictures, and show you guys what the final results look like. And I am going to go ahead and add some stones. So if you guys do want to see that, make sure to stay tuned. I am using Montage's Nail Glue Resin. So that stuff is amazing. You guys already know I love that stuff so much. So all right, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for the very end. Thank you. 